take a look at another question that had come in. So comments or questions from the crowd. Oh, well, good coming from Dennis, one of three, okay. The project <laughs> he's currently working on, there are a lot of procedures which return a SIFS ref, cur ref cursor as an out parameter of the result of their work. Then on the consumer site, people fetch data from these cursors, okay. I don't really like this approach because I'm more on the pipeline table function side. I already came up with a number of advantages of PTFs to the ref cursors on the project, but I'm not sure about the performance difference between these two. Is there any difference in performance speed memory needed between these two approaches to implement getters, considering similar implementation, implementation of the functions inside the course? <laughs> Let's imagine my getx pipeline table function returns a data type of 100 fields. Is there a difference in the amount of generated network traffic between database and consumer? Between such calls, the select star from table package, you know, table getx versus select ab from table get package get x Ooh, I think maybe I'm missing a subtlety in what you're saying about what the difference is between those Dennis um, I think it's a B versus star so, yeah I mean I mean then it's just the amount of columns you know the fewer columns you select the less data you're sending and, and all other things being equal faster it's going to be or certainly the less network traffic is going to be because you're sending less over um is that right dennis is that what you're asking in terms of the distinction just the star versus a comma b and this may be something we want to take up at the next office hours or offline at yeah. some point because it's it sounds like a bit more of a he, he cheated plan. he was sitting there typing up a three-part question while we were talking <laughs> yes <laughs> sneaking it in go on yes third question is about this okay Okay. Uh, so that's the Hang on, but you had a second question. So, is there a difference in performance between these two approaches? So, using fetching from a ref cursor versus a pipeline table function, you mean? Mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, okay. offhand, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to tell you definitively about performance differences. Uh, but I would think that sysref cursors passing information back out would be pretty darn efficient. Yeah. Without having to go to the, through the PTF. But it, it's the sort of thing that in, in the abstract would be hard to say. Yeah. I think the big difference is your table function, you can put in an, another SQL statement. So depending on what you're doing on the other side, hmm. if you're joining it to other data, for example, a table function is the right way to go. Whereas a sysref cursor and fetching out of it, yeah, that's going to be tricky. But um, if you're just talking about just streaming the data across, yeah, I don't have a specific. Yeah, if you're just fetching rows, I'm not sure how putting a pipeline table function, and and then the other question, of course, would be whether or not you can take advantage of the pipelining, that you can consume the rows in advance of the full set being retrieved. Certainly, if that's the case, then pipeline table functions have an awful lot to offer. Um, other than that, I would think the SysRest cursor is just going to be better overall. Just my quick guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say on that without looking at it further. Okay. Uh, and let's, we have a, um, a, a point from Niall. Isn't the point of database setting for a prox count distinct that you have to be clear what every query that is issued against the database requir requires in terms of accuracy? i.e. Stephen's accuracy is lax, Chris requires accurate data. 